Okay, Bob, Arrogate just uh, jogging this morning. Let's go back to his most recent drill. I know people are kind of gushing over it, but what did you see out of it, and, and how encouraging was it? Well, um, you know, uh, Ralph, Ralphie Bejarano, he had a, I had a radio. He was having a radio, so he was listening to the work. And so um, we put uh, the, the horse that he's been used to, to working with before the Pegasus uh, uninvited, who usually we give him about 12 lanes. The other day we only gave him eight, didn't give him enough. So, you know, Airgate likes to target in front of him. So he was moving really well. And when he got the uninvited a little bit early, I had it, you know, when he got to about the eighth pole, I told him to just go ahead and set him down. And that's when he started riding him. And, uh, but he, he did it, you know, he had a, he had to encourage him a little bit, but you know, before, you know, he didn't have to really get after him and he was just getting rolling. That's what he does. He just, the end of the work, that's when he starts pouring it on. And, um, you know, we took him out, he went out about a mile and the eighth and, um, then I just came back here to see what he looked like, and he's like his normal self. You know, he just he doesn't get tired. He doesn't take a deep breath. It's, that's just him. So it, he's a pretty remarkable horse. So since then, a couple days uh, since then, and then today he came out and jogged. What's been the uh, regiment for him since that work, and then what do we got between now and Breeders' Cup? Well, um, you know, we, we walked him, uh, jogged him a couple days uh, just to get him, you know, just get his feet under him again. And so um, you know, this track is... Uh, really deep you know we're dealing with a totally different kind of track we've had to adapt to it and it's something that we weren't used to when we went to del mar when he ran that race and he was way off the pace and that we found you can't do that del mar that especially the, the you know the the first week of the of the meet so um but since then he's been doing really well he looks healthy he looks great he's um you know has he lost his fastball I haven't, we won't know until we run them, but uh, right now, I just don't see anything there that would really make me think that I, I'm worried about him, because if I were, if I felt a little bit funny that he wasn't going to perform like he, like he's capable of, I, I wouldn't run the horse. And so, but so far, I mean, I like what I see, but uh, but I like what I see with my other ones too, so they're they're all going to be pretty tough. Well, you're true to your word. We saw you at the Gregson dinner. It was immediately after the TVG Pacific Classic, and you said, look, I'm going to that Breeders' Cup Classic with as many horses as I can, and pre-entries bore that out. So you've got quite the hand going in, and all the other horses are on schedule as far as their works and, and heading to Del Mar? Well, I mean, I'm running those horses because they're good horses. They've earned their way in. You know, you've got a horse like Collected, who I, he likes Del Mar, but he, he actually, he's just a good race horse. He won by 16 here the race before and so he's doing incredibly well then west coast we don't know how good he is he's you know he's jumped up there in a mile and a quarter just right up his alley what he did in the travers what he then he came right back and won the pennsylvania derby i mean that's one tough out like back to back um uh out of out of state games you know so mm -hmm. that's pretty pretty impressive when you can do that with a with a young horse like that and then we've got uh Mutahij, you know, who's, you know, is coming around. He's tough. He's going to be right there. He's a, you know, he's going to, he's a grinder type. He's like, you know, he's going to be in the fight. So, um, I mean, I, I like my hand going in, but, you know, we still have that one obstacle out there, that gun runner who's looked sensational since he's been here. So, you know, he's going to be really good. And you never know who else is going to, you know, pop up. So um, all I know is that we're, you know, these horses are all doing really, really well. One more little breeze for them. We'll ship down there. Uh, looks like Tuesday, and so hopefully we'll just have a really light week and uh, and just hope they all run their race. All right, Bob, thank you very much. Good luck this week. Thank you. Todd?